Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here we are. We are covering Airbnb clone application and uh, this is our code base which you can find at pnb.tksharma.com. This is the next CS app and now after discussing this architecture we have already understood how we have integrated next auth with auth0. Now we are going to focus on this particular area like uh, what all what should be the design I mean, particular service design like okay let's say if I want to build a simple search service right where you can actually uh, search based on the location based on the type because when you go to airbnb.com you can actually look for uh, homestay you can look for the hotels and all these things right so we are going to build a first search service which can be accessed through the nest.js apis through the proxy gateway right because we don't want okay nest.js api is hitting individual service endpoint we did it will just hit the nest.js api gateway so i will just go into a little bit on the code so this is our proxy service what the proxy service is doing it has all these uh, if you go to the main module here this is the app module and inside app module we have all these gateway interface that whenever the the request is coming for this v1 category manager it will take it to the uh, category management middleware because the jo job of the proxy is the request is coming for let's say from the nsc api is coming from localhost 3000 uh, it will be just sitting simply like okay what is api go to our main module it will be hitting like v1 category manager api v1 api v1 course manager simply like this let's say search right for us for this interface the endpoint is like this but when it comes to the proxy it is actually going to delegate it to the respective search service which is happening through this middleware right it is it's like it is using the same uh, create proxy middleware http proxy middleware is the module which will take which will take the request using api v1 category manager and will take it to the category manager middleware similarly let's say if i create a search uh, i don't think we have a search service i can just use a booking service for that but the interface can be simply search right i can create a separate middleware for it and i will say is this can be a uh, booking manager or search manager proxy. So inside interface, uh, you will get a request something like this API v1 search. And now you can decide which particular target service it is going to hit. Let's say my booking service is running on 3002, then it's fine, right? Either 3003, 3004. These services, booking, payment, property listing, search service, all these will be running on their different particular ser particular port and here we can navigate okay it is to 3001 3002 3003 that we will decide here let's say search service is running on 3004 so whenever the request is coming from api v1 search take it to 3004 user preference api let's say if it is running on 3002 this is running on 3001 so this is how we will navigate this is simply search now our focus is more on uh, building these services microservices right and here because when there are some public apis because when you do go to airbnb.com you can actually search the, the the homestay or hotels publicly i mean you don't need to log in for that so that's a public api so search service search service will provide it but there are some API like user preference APIs where you want to fetch your order history, your booking history, your user profile details. All that for that you need to be logged in. You need to already have a session cookies that will be coming from proxy and based on the cookies you can identify okay does your session exist. If your session exists then only it will allow you to access uh, the data based on identifying okay your token is valid in the session cookies and then I will get to know your user and I will search in database and will give you. So first we are building the search service which will be doing nothing but going to give you the options on the landing page. So if I 
just go to the code base and uh, this is already running on 3000 i guess 3000 so uh, here we are going to give a simple search and wh whatever the the popular options and all those will be coming from the search here currently i'm logged in i can just do simply log out and my session will be reset i can do the login and it will do the auth zero login so this is a simple search we can create a simple search bar or i can just do a simple listing of the properties and then we can just actually search so we just need to create a simple page where you can actually search and now search is based on your service search you can provide based on the location based on the type so i will do it in the two different ways first we will allow user to pass so at least there are two three options based on location let's say you pass the city name we are doing it in the country base let's say this is i'm building airbnb for india you will enter the indian city and then you will get a airbnb options then either you are looking for the homestay or some some a heart outside because airbnb stays can be uh, of different type outdoor gateways uh, unique stays which are like totally outstanding and then this entire homes homestay hotels some unique concepts right then you can filter based on that and you will just see the listings that all will be coming from the search service and we can actually get that using just nest GS api so this is our app and here i'm defining all the apis which i'm going to create let's say search so search is a public route right i don't need to check for the session here if it is just to simply get i can just get all the filter options and i can i, do, I don't need to check the session let's say if i hit it right now api v1 api search this is the route i have right now right so if i do api search so what it will give me you are not logged in because it is checking the session that's correct right so i will just get rid of this thing and here there are two different ways of building uh, the endpoints in the next ne next js either you can integrate a prisma in the next js interface where you will be building everything inside this you integrate it with a prisma on top of this i mean that's a way of building things here you can have a prisma and you build everything here prisma is a orm typescript based orm and it has a nice integration i have built uh, applications like that but the only thing is i don't like i want a segregation of services into into the microservices so i'm not going to hit a, expose all the entity tables in the server side of the next js where i can create api routes and i can access the data directly here what i will do i'm doing is i already have a services exposed if you are logged in you can check the session and then you can just return the data so here response.json here we can just return the uh, maybe nodes array simple right so if you now try to hit this you will just get the array <coughs> so this is what we are targeting so now our most focus is on the nest.js side and then let's say i build a api v1 search interface then here I'm going to make a Xeos call, Xeos call based on the request you are passing. Maybe there are some query parameters or filter criteria you are passing. I can access them here. Access query param and pass same to external service. So here we can just write a simple Xeos call, right? It's already a sync. Make an Xeos call here xeos call get to service get response and return here that's it this is what we are going to do for the public if there is a api is a private then we will obviously check the session if session is not there then don't do this if session is there then you need to call so here what we will do is make api call here we do have session and session contains the token access token because what happens is here we are going to write a middleware here this is 
आठ जीरो मिडलवेयर वाई बिकॉज वन यू आर रिसीविंग द टोकन यू नीड टू वैलिडेट द टोकन अगेंस्ट और जीरो प्रोवाइडर ओके वट एवर द टोकन आई एम गेटिंग इन दिस माइक्रो सर्विस इज इट वैलिड ओके यस इट इज वैलिड दैन आई विल जस्ट रिटर्न द रेस्पॉन्स ओके इट विल डी कोड इट सक्सेसफुली बेस्ड ऑन द सेम और जीरो क्रेडेंशियल्स इफ इट इज फाइन द टोकन इज वैलिड यूजर इज करेक्टली लॉग्ड इन गिव रिटर्न हिंग द डेटा सो आई दर यू कैन क्रिएट दिस इज अ पैकेज एंड देन वी कैन यूज दैट ऑर्थ जीरो पैकेज इन एवरी अदर माइक्रो सर्विस बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग मोनो रिपो and that's an advantage of using monorepo you can actually import these packages in the individual services because we are doing a similarly we are also using a database package type for um, db module we are using and then we are injecting that uh, adding that db module into all these services or we are using them similarly config service logging service all these reusable piece we can do sometimes like here we will also do the file upload so maybe we will can create aws s3 module upload module and then that module can be used by any service like listing uh, booking where you need to upload something or like uh, when we want to do a listing of a particular hotel then you also need to upload some images all these things can be done through the aws s3 and we just use some publicly accessible urls of s3 objects okay this is the interface so our our call is here let's say i'm going to access the user preference data user booking history and all i will check the session if session exist make a xios call pass the access token that's it and whatever the response you are getting just return it using next response dot json that's it so now next focus is picking one particular domain so our first domain is the search interface so this is our interface now what we can do is let's say we create a search page and then allow user to search based on the city locations and all so that's the first interface and that is going to do a whole microservice communication from here to there okay so let's get started in the next js now we will be just diving into the next js services and i will keep uh, pushing the code which whatever i'm going to add here i will update the readme file so that you can also configure the same uh, ports for these services because there is a particular port mapping proxy will hit 3001 to the search service 3002 uh, booking service 3004 payment service same mapping you can do and uh, build the whole service interface